high. Chances are you haven't heard of Parkinson's first law. Parkinson's first law, the work will expand to meet the time available for its completion. You've probably heard of Murphy's law. If something will can go wrong, it will go wrong. But have you heard of Ware's Laws 1 and 2? Ware's Law 1, the seriousness of an announcement made by anyone in authority is always inversely proportional to the seriousness of the real event. I won't describe that at this time, but I will talk about Ware's second law. The books will expand to meet the bookshelf available to fill them. <laughs> Why do I say that? When I downsized to this location back in 2007, I had about 500, maybe more, books along various bookshelves in my study in my old location. And I knew that I had to get rid of them, a lot of them. So I did. Two thirds of them went by way, by the wayside. And I ended up with about 200 books left, which completely filled my bookshelves. But you know what? If you're a reader, you keep collecting books. And there are some you will never throw away. For example, this little book, Black Beauty was the first book I was ever given as a gift. It was delivered into my hands by a headmaster at a primary school back in 1949. And the thing it said inside was this. <laughs> if I can find it. Here we are. Kings Park. Arthur Ware for General Progress, signed by the headmaster. Well, you don't throw books like that away. Then I've got this other little book, a seaman's pocket book, issued to every sailor who joined the Navy in the 1950s. Filled with all sorts of things about ropes and ships, terminology and so forth. You don't throw books like that away. They're keepsakes. Trouble is, most of the books we love become keepsakes. Some of the books I've got, I've read a dozen times or more. Many I've read two or three times. Love the reading of them. Love what I get out of them. So, where's second law? The books expand to meet the bookshelf available for their filling. It's a pity but I don't want to buy more bookshelves, which leaves me in a quandary. What books will I get rid of? How do you feel about that? Are you a book lover? <laughs>